this is Sandoval. I am Joey, and I have come back from the future to save the day and give you this umbrella. Joey, you can't travel back in time. Oh, really? Well, then how would I know that you needed an umbrella? I don't need an umbrella. It's the hottest day of the year. It is? It is. Hmm. You know, uh... Maybe my time machine is running a little slow, or or maybe fast. Hmm. Well, why don't we do the math puzzle? Maybe we should. Kara has 25 toy animals and 12 books. Mm -hmm. George has eight more toy animals than Kara has. How many toy animals does George have? Well, let's take a look at the information that we're given. Oh, I can't mm -hmm. wait. So I have the information right here. Now, we want to find out how many toy animals does George have. So 12 books is not really important. I don't need to know that information. No books, animals, mm -hmm. nothing to do with each other. Exactly. Why don't we cross <laughs> it out? Okay. okay. Now, what does eight more toy animals than Kara mean? Hmm. Well, if we're saying that George has eight more, that means we need to add, so we need to add 25 and eight, right? Okay, now I'm going to use a place value chart to help me do that. Oh, great. All right, and also I'm going to use 10 frames because it's easier to organize my ones. We love organization in the future. We <laughs> sure do, Joey. So now I'm going to place the 25 in our place value chart. Now, how many tens are there in 25? Two. Two, very good. So we need two tens. There and, you go. And how many ones are there in 25? Five. Five. And see, Joey, it's very easy to place our five ones in our ten frame. I know the first row has five. I love ten frames. <laughs> now, remember, George has eight more toy animals than Kara. That means I need to add my eight ones. Yeah. And again, we are going to use a ten frame because we can easily see that five and three makes... Eight. Yeah. All right. Now, what happens if I move these ones to my <gasps> first 10 frame so we can fill in the 10 frame? Well. Yeah, you how, filled it in. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that means we have how many ones? Well, there's 10 ones. There's 10 ones. Yeah. And you know what 10 ones makes? 10. One ten. Yeah. So I can regroup. Oh, you're going to, mm -hmm. those ones are going to move over to the 10. Exactly. So I'm going to regroup by trading 10 ones for one 10. I knew that because I'm from the future. <laughs> now, we don't, we want to get rid of these so that we don't double count them, right? Right. Okay, we already regrouped them so we don't need them. Let's right. go ahead and delete those. I'm going to erase this to make it a little more neat. Okay, now we have the 25 plus the 8, which mm. we did in our place value chart, which means that we have the number of toy animals that George has. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. So let's figure out how many he has. Well, how many 10s are there here? Well, you have three 10s, so that's 30. And how many 1s do we have? One, two, th three. So that means that George has 33 toy animals. Oh, uh, that's quite a zoo. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mrs. Sandoval. No that math puzzle was even more fun than the first time we did it. But sadly, I, future Joey, must return to the future. I'll um, see you later. See you later, Joey. Wait. Aren't you going to get in your time machine? Well, no, I think I'm going to walk back to the future. You know, I could use the exercise. 
See you soon. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and join us next time for some more fun math puzzles. He really thinks he's from the future. <laughs> Maybe I should take this just in case.